145 pound state final. This is defending champ Anthony Kalika in the white and purple of Solon wrestling Marcus Scheidel of St. Ed's in black. Kalika won it at 130 a year ago. Nationally ranked in the top 15 at 145. Jidel, a freestyle All-American in Fargo this summer where he placed sixth. Kalika fourth at Fargo. Kalika with just a pair of losses on the season so far to Dylan Malonis of Blair Academy and Matt Samato of LaSalle. Has, so has not lost since December. Jidel shot from way out. Kalika sprawls. Word. 50 seconds into this first period, no score so far. Now go behind Kalika. It's Scheidel with a leg. As we scramble towards the edge and out. 101 on our restart, 0-0. Zero, zero. Scheidel comes in at 33-9 and nine in the meat grinder that's been St. Ed's schedule. I referenced it earlier, they've dueled Seven of the top ten teams in the country, plus attended Ironman, the toughest individual tournament in America. Winners of the Clash, Ironman runner-up, only loss on the season is the Blair Academy. Shadell had a memorable fall to start the train rolling against third-ranked St. John's, Michigan, and they're dueled back in, this, in January. Two on one, Kalika tries to pick the knee, nothing doing, 25 seconds to go. We're no score in this one. Scheidel's the wrestler who's really made the leap in this Ed's lineup. It was a low placer last season. Really a product of the St. Ed's room, how much he's improved since last March. Both of these wrestlers are juniors. Kalik will take a half step back. His time expires 0 0 after one. I think you marked that a win for Scheidel. He'll go under to start the second. Both of these wrestlers attempting to become their school's second champion of the night. Dean Heil on the board for St. Ed's, Brandon Thompson for Solon. Ed still has the chance to tie the big school record with six champs, but they have five guys left in finals. Scheidel now up to his feet. Win the head attempt by Kalik and he'll drive him out with 135 to go. Second period, we're still scoreless in this one at 145 pounds. Now Kalika slides a boot on the near side. Now both legs in trying to half. The Scheidel can't elevate Kalika. 123 to go. Now Kalika has him completely flattened out. And without a stalemate, I don't think Scheidel's going anywhere. 110 left in this one. Scheidel's fought enough underneath, but there's the stalemate that Coach Jeff Leonard wanted about nine seconds ago. 106 on the restart, 0 0 our score. Or spiral and claw there. Kalika's Scheidel tripods up. Now he's out. One nothing lead. Marcus Scheidel with 52 seconds left. Second period of this one. Kalika shot from way out. Scheidel sprawls. Now we're tied up with 43 left. And Kalika has really taken people down at will this weekend. Has not been tested in his first three bouts in Columbus. Is being done so tonight, though. Shiles. 
third pull goes back, 25 seconds left, second period. Scheidel who shoots a single and a push Pollock out of bounds, restart with 19 to go. Scheidel a 4-3 winner in his semi, also has a 6-1 win and a 40 second fall. As I knock the camera, luckily nothing happened in that game. Quick time, eight seconds left. It'll be Pollock his choice in the third. He'll go underneath Scheidel, I'd have to imagine, and try and tie this thing up. Half step back, Scheidel. Period runs out, Anthony Pollock goes underneath. Breathing a little heavy right now. He really probably has not been pushed much since Powerade in December. Shot there, Kalika short. Shot by attempt, shy down. Now it's Kalika short offense. 147 left, second period, the third period. Kalika still trying to follow and go behind. Shadow sneaking his way out of bounds. Might be better served. The circle referee noticed the same thing I did. Stall warning Marcus Scheidel. 133 left in this one. Scheidel's been warned and we traded escapes to tie things at one. He's worked better from space so far. 110 to go. And Marcus Scheidel's made a match out of this one. I think on paper, most would say Kalik is a decided favorite. Low single attempt there. Kalik as Scheidel tries to shuck by. Has the arm. Solon Crown wants and gets to Anthony Kalik. Takes a 3-1 lead with 50 seconds to go. Official down looking for back as he has that arm locked. Will stalemate it. 43 seconds left. Kalika on top and it holding a 3 1 advantage. Shidel tripods up. Kalika drops to an ankle. Shidel can't. White roll out. Kalika still has it now. Scheidel up, can't feel hands. 29 seconds left. Kalika up 3 1, looking for his second Division I state title. Scheidel up, can't switch. Kalika has the ankle. Locked up will go potentially dangerous. 24 seconds left. Kalka again down to the ankle. Shied out tripods. 20 seconds left. Probably needs a reversal at this point. The force OT again. Kalika to a leg. Scheidel sits out. Now we're scrambled. Scheidel, if he can clear that ankle, he'll tie things. Eight seconds left. Kalika latched on, desperately tries to peel, and will stalemate it with five seconds left. That probably is going to end the match. Coach John Heffernan not happy in the corner. Scheidel jumps the whistle. Caution underneath. That's his first. Again, caution underneath on Scheidel. A third one. Caution on top for Kalik is set up. I'm sorry. So now both wrestlers have one. Five seconds left. Scheidel can't switch off the whistle. Kalik breaks down, and that's going to do it. Your winner, 3-1 decision, his second state title, Anthony Kalika, the Solon Comets, knocks off Marcus Scheidel of St. Ed's.